Well, hi there, Faith Pocatello Daily here. It is the 24th of September, 2024. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 3 through 21. <clears throat> if anyone teaches a different doctrine and does not agree with the sound words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the teaching that accords with godliness, he is puffed up with conceit and understands nothing. He has an unhealthy craving for controversy and for quarrels about words, which produce envy, dissension, slander, evil suspicions, and constant friction among people who are depraved in mind and deprived of the truth, imagining that godliness is a means of gain. Now there is a great gain in godliness with contentment. For we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. But if we have food and clothing with these things, we will be content. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation, into a snare, into many senseless and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. It is through this craving that some people have wandered away from the faith and pierced themselves with many pangs. But as for you, O man of God, flee these things. Pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. I charge you in the presence of God, who gives life to all things, and of Christ Jesus, who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession to keep the commandment unstained and free from reproach until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he will display at the proper time. He who is blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone is immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, whom no one has ever seen or can see, to him be honor and eternal dominion. Amen. As for the rich in this present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future so that they may take hold of that which is truly life. O Timothy, guard the deposit entrusted to you. Avoid the irreverent babble and contradiction of, of what is falsely called knowledge. For by professing it, some have swerved from the faith. Grace be to you. Well, this is a big chunk of scripture, but basically there's a lot that the, the, the Apostle Paul is saying, and I just want to draw a couple things out. First of all, God is the one who provides everything for you, so we just need to rest in him. But second of all, we see this idea of, of vain uh, 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 arguments and, and those who want to be thought wise in their own eyes and profess this knowledge um, they have swerved from the faith. Many people want to seem spiritual and seem knowledgeable, but they are far from the truth. So we hold to the truth, the truth that Jesus is the only way and everything that we, he gives us, we use for his glory. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share life.